Hello, my people. Welcome back to Critics News with more updates on us. You take the go in case you have not followed us on our social media handles. What are you waiting for? We did for Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook, bringing you back to back. <laughs> update on us. You take the go today, being the 29th day of September 2022. Let's go straight to the reason why we are here. Hmm. They said that um, the governor of River State will be Governor Nyes and Wiki. Hmm, the man we they see here. So we, we keep eye like person. We see frog. They say don't jam one chance. I say kilo kilo shele, kilo day waiting to happen. Hmm. They say no be smart, you know. Say that Mazen Nam the Kano's um, foreign lawyer, American lawyer. I, I guess that must be Bruce Fane. Say don't carry a matter. Go give uh, ICC, which is the International Criminal Court in Hague. I said, what, 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 what's going on here? What are you doing? He said, hmm. Say the people, the my brothers that um, Governor Nyes and Wike killed in his bid to become the president of uh, Nigeria or to collect the ticket for uh, um, PDP in 2023, which the Tambuwalo, his dear friend, Abi, his husband, disappointed him. And then um, joined the power with Artiku to overthrow him, which is the reason why they are having crisis in PDP today. They say the, the killings of Igbo people in Obibo, the, which is the Obibo massacre, save this case in Ovarest. See, now he make the carry him now go international criminal court that he must come and answer how the massacre was done. I say, wow, we can. <laughs> they don't dig it. They wait for you. The immediately you are stepping down as a governor of uh, a river state. You go collect water, water from ICC. Maybe they will, they, will, they will jail you for 50 years or 100. That will make sense. So that when I go use on our ears, they hear something. See this one when they hear your own self, if they come. Your own petition for ICC. Wait, no, they look, no, they look me like that. Don't give it like, like onye onye abe se bara na 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 hoteli. Nonsense. Eh, they say your own case is they pending. Say you go collect water, water immediately. We be say <laughs> Nigeria, they 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 collapse on hand. We will enter Biafra. At that time, you go collect. No be smart thing. Breaking in nam the canos American lawyer. Sues Rivers Governor Week in International Criminal Court over alleged massacre of 3,800 Biafrans and abduction of many others. Up to now, many of our brothers from that Obibo are still missing. See the headline that we are talking about here. Breaking Nam the Canon's American lawyer sues Rivers Governor Week in International Criminal Court over alleged massacre of. 3,800 Biafrans, an abduction of many others. Till today, some of my brothers from Obibo are still languishing in the dungeon of Nigerian police, army, DSS, and even some of them has been killed and fed to animals or vultures. What a country. And you, they are, these are the people who want to become president. These are the people who want us to continue in one Nigeria. These are the kinds of people. Hmm? No difference between you. The evil atrocities that you are committing, you know, difference from what uh, this fake Buhari is doing in Nigeria. Let's look at it properly. Bruce Fein, the United States based lawyer of Onam De Kanu, detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has filed a criminal complaint with the International Criminal Court against River State Governor Nyesen Wike. Fain, an international lawyer and the spokesperson for Kano, in a petition to Karim Khan, chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Court in The Hague, accused Wike of conspiring with the fake President Muhammad Mbuari, who has Buari allowed the country into Canal, to kill over 3,800 Biafrans. That is almost 5,000 Biafrans were killed in that Obibo massacre in a country that claims to be one, and you are forcing us to be one. Wiki, chai, Wiki. He says it's a baby that is drinking from filling bottle. Truly, you are still drinking from filling bottle. You don't have sense. In a document obtained by Sahara reporters, the lawyer said, the governor is guilty of genocide and crimes against humanity, as defined in Articles 6 and 7 of the Rome Statute, 
by complicity in an ongoing scheme to destroy or persecute Biafrans in Nigeria. The accused, Ezenwo Nyesenwike, has lent his authority as governor of River State to assist in genocide and crimes against humanity. He celebrated Anon. Anon. Among other things, Wike orchestrated the massacre of more than 3,800 Biafrans in the Obibo area of River State in October 2020 as part of an ongoing and widespread and systematic attack by the Fulani-controlled federal government of the Zoological Republic of Nigeria against the Biafran civilian population in the southeast, part of the petition read. <laughs> No be small right up with the carry go give these people. We k is all I shall book. Is all I shall do, but this time you go collect water water for international criminal court hand. I pray that they jail you properly. No be the one way ga bonari. Mm -mm. If they are able to jail you properly, others will learn. Even this fake buari here, it they look me like this. May God. May God allow them. This time around, no be the one where they say, May God no allow them. No, this time. God will allow them. And then Jelona. The magnitude of Fulani atrocities against Biafrans shocks uh, the conscience. Wiki is a prime mover. Full knowledge of the notorious genocide and crimes against humanity engineered by co conspirator, the fake President Muhammad Mbugari. The Biafran genocide escalated with the presidential election of former military dictator and Fulani extremist Muhammad Buhari in 2015. The fake president Muhammad Buhari unwit unwittingly blotted out the United States Institute of Peace on July 25, 2015, that he would represent the interest of the consti constituency that voted 97% to support him, but not his political opponent. Mr. Buare has more than amply honored his threat by a genocide campaign implicating the accused governor, Nyesen Wike. The Nigerian security forces at present, structured along northern Muslim lines and deployed in eastern Nigeria, had him 14 uh, months or between late October 2020 and December 2021, killed not less than 1,150 defenseless citizens of eastern Nigeria. All the victims are members of Judeo-Christian faith and mostly ethnic Igbo citizens. Their killings represent, uh, represent monthly average of 85 deaths and the daily average of three and could be monthly average of 155 and daily average of 5.5 deaths if the presumed dead 1,000 missing citizens are added. Here in Mendi Ibo, they have, they have killed all our brothers. Go to Ibo land, so so grave, grave, grave. Plus the ones where we know see, where they kill, they throw away. Kai, this country. Hmm? The security forces also abducted and disappeared to date. In the same past 14 months, at least 1,000 unarmed civilians arrested alive and unarmed and taken into security custodies outside the knowledge of their families or lawyers from where they have gone missing to date. They have killed most of them, and some of them are in solitary confinement. Soldiers of the Nigerian army are found to be responsible for at least 70% of their abduction and disappearances, while DSS, NPF, which is the Nigerian Police Force, Nigerian Navy, and Nigerian Air Force, are separately and jointly responsible for the remaining 30%, which makes it 100%. We see how our people are disappearing on a daily basis in the country. In the area of perpetrator issue, soldiers of the Nigerian Army and various special squads of the Nigerian police force are the lead killers or perpetrators. The trio of governors who oppose the rural of Imo State, mm -hmm, Nyes and Wike of River State, and Devo Mahe, the devil of Ebony State, are the most vigorously culpable governors that aided and abated the killings and the 
property destruction, including burning of civilian homes and sanctuaries. On the other hand, listen or pay attention. On the other hand, the widely believed Nigerian state protected jihadists, especially the jihadist Fulani Hesmen, are responsible for hacking to death in 2021 alone of at least 270 Igbo Christians. Their death had majorly occurred in Ebony, Enugu, Anambra, Imo, Abia, and Igbo parts of Delta, Edo, Obiaruku, and Igbo Akere, Benue, and Kogi states. These are places Fulani has been decimating the Igbo people. And it is a shame that our people has, I don't know whether to say foolishly or stupidly, refused to understand that Nigeria is not for them and that the only solution to our predicament is to break away from the zoological republic that doesn't value the lives of the citizens. The killings by jihadist Fulani Hesmen have brought the total number of defenseless citizens traceably killed in eastern Nigeria in the past 14 months to at least 1,400. This is when added to 1,150 defenseless civilian death perpetrated by security forces. The death toll could be 2,400 if 1,000 uh, missing presumed dead dead citizens are added. So it is therefore likely correct to say that in all, not less than 2,400 unarmed or armless civilians mm -hmm, lost their lives to Nigeria security forces and the jihadists in eastern Nigeria in the past 14 uh, covering October 2020 to December 2021. This is on account of the fact that not less than 1,000 missing persons are likely to have been killed in custodies and most likely to be returned alive to their families again. This is more so when strong evidence abounds, showing no traces of location and securing the release of citizens abducted by soldiers of the Nigerian army in eastern Nigeria since January 2021. Most of our people have been missing. If not your family, how will you feel? Will you still feel the same way you are feeling today? You see why we cry here every day? You see why we get annoyed every day? Disappeared analytically, estimated 4,800 unarmed citizens of eastern Nigeria have been arrested or abducted by security forces in the past 14 months since late October 2020. Out of the number, 660 were traceably killed in security custodies. About 500 were killed, killed in open shootings, mainly carried out by soldiers of the Nigerian army and personnel of other branches of the armed forces with a clear case, in point being dumping of over 100 bodies, um, dead victims of army's open shooting of civilians at the Owere Federal Medical Center. Not less than 1,000 mainly abducted civilians have disappeared hmm, or presumed dead, mainly in military custodies. No fewer than 2,000 unarmed civilians are still detained without trial, and only 700 of the arrested 4,800 citizens have regained their freedom in the past 14 months. The freed 700 citizens had included 418 Obibo abductees and some 300 other civi civilian citizens arrested by security forces in the East since January 2021. Most of them got freed after being forced to offer average of 1 million naira per freed detainee. This was majorly the case in the hands of the Nigerian police force, especially the IROT, STS, which is a special uh, tactical squad, CTU, which is um, a counter-terrorism unit, anti-kidnapping, SWAT, SAS, and the special forces comprising the operatives of the Army, Police, DSS, Navy, Air Force, NSCDC, and the etc. The, the list went on and on and on and on. 
countless. The killings by the Nigerian security forces had occurred mostly in Igbo Christian parts of the eastern Nigeria, including Imo, Rivers, Abia, Ebonye, Anambara, Enugu, and Akwaibom State, as well as Delta and Cross River State, which recorded the lowest number of deaths. Further breakdown indicates that the Nigerian security forces were specifically responsible for killing of at least 1,000 defenseless citizens in the East in 2021, while jihadist full and criminal terrorist hasemen killed not less than 270 in the same 2021. These are our brothers who, I'm not go here. What I'm telling you here sounds like a fiction. It's sounding like a film because some of you have not experienced it. And I don't pray that you experience it. But what I want you to do is to fall, fall, fall into fall into the understanding of what is happening in your environment and the reason why we are shouting every day like mad people. Because I will have to start shouting on time so that it will not get to you. Because it will, if it gets to you, you will feel the pains more. So the earlier you join your hands together, the earlier you support the freedom of Biafra, the earlier you join the autopilot movement and the help so that we can defend our territory, that will be the proper solution to what you are doing. And as a living human being, at the end of the day, we we'll march for victory. The Nigerian army had also, between October and November 2020, killed not less than 150 defenseless civilians in Obibo, which is Oyibo. They, they changed it and said Oyibo, Ndiara, local government area, and its environs in River State, implicating the accused governor, Wike, and abducted over 700 civilians and out of the number, 418 have been independently located and freed, while no fewer than 110 defenseless citizens were killed in Obibo and its environs. The remaining 40 deaths occurred in different secret army custodies, while the Obibo abductees were secretly detained amidst torture and starvation. Another hundred abducted defenseless citizens were recently in late November 2021 traced and discovered to have been dumped at Kaduna prisons and lock centers. Out of the number, five died. Over 40 of, um, 40 of the over 700 abductees were found to have been killed in various secret army custodies. The lawyer further asked the chief prosecutor to investigate Wiki for alleged genocide and crimes against humanity, which is what they are going to do to make sure that the perpetrators of this evil does not go any free. They don't go free at all, at all, at all. You get the point now. So I think um, it's, a, it's a good move on the right direction. So um, our brother Bruce Fain, we want to also appreciate you. We want to say that you are doing a nice job. And we want to say, Jidekwankiji, make sure that these people are brought to book, a proper book, not all this exercise book. When the forming committee, they, they bring, they, they write their own. Bring them to proper justice. May they go chop beans. May they, as in day now, as he's stepping down, they grab him, make him go answer the query of the people he killed as the governor. Today, we it's a shame to you that even the presidency you killed your own people for and denied your originality as an Igbo man, today you don't even have the presidency. You are running from pillar to post to shouting, I'm not an Igbo man! I'm not an Igbo man! You won't die the day they ask you that question. May God allow them, may them prosecute you. Jojo. I beg you, before we go, they say, get one man waiting for Italy. <laughs> With the interview like this, he say, hmm, say this uh, jaga jaga of a man, say the man good, though, and be the best thing will happen to Nigeria. So, say when has the uh, age become a criteria for, and the man, he did tell you, you came to Italy here, and you are hustling to survive, but you want uh, Tinubu, for example, to become the president. 
You see where the problem lies. You, are, you want to enjoy good life. You are seeing good roots. But you don't know what is good for your own country. May God. We cannot talk, Sha. Watch this video, Sha. How low now the economy don't go now? And with, and with, with the, the standard, standard of uh, Tunubu now, you, you, you believe or not, say, Tunubu feel lift in Nigeria from that. Let me ask you, what did you do to Nubu When Mandela, Mandela was, was president, president of South Africa, Africa. How, old how old was he? Was he? Reagan, Reagan, George Reagan, Reagan. President, president of, uh, former president of America, America. as old as he now, which year he rule America? When has age become a criteria in leadership? I don't know why... Nigerians, Nigerians are, are using, using age, age and this and, and that. What has age, age become a criteria? And they ask is this constitution? If person don't reach 60 years, I'm going to say 70 years, you know if you'll be president. Okay, president. okay now. With the level now when Nigeria now don't talk sense, go down now, like with the level of our economy, how low now the economy don't go now. And with the standard of Tunubu now, you believe or not, say, Tunubu feel lift Nigeria now from that level where Nigeria economy is now to the level, to the normal level where we need to do. My brother, brother, let me, let me tell, tell you one thing. thing. When you when have, have a team, team to work with, with you will share. share. For, example, for example, now, I've been welfare officer of Nigeria, Nigeria for a year for Italy. Italy. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason, the reason why, why people, people say, say I do well is because I get the right team to work with. I get the right is appointing the right people in the right department to work with you. Somebody like you. Tunubu is the only Democrat. The only Democrat we have in Nigeria. That is that one is thing you should know. Tunubu has, has all the capacity. Because, because in whole now, now let, let us build, build this country. country. Let, let us build, build this country. country. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not looking at religion. It's not, it's not looking, looking at tribe. tribe. It's, it's not, not sentimental. sentimental. It's, it's own is, let, let us build, build the country. country. That, that is what's at Tunubu to me. Tunubu has the capacity. Everything. And as I look at as I look at it, he has not seen to lose. lose. Only, only, he only wants to make a mark to build, build Nigeria. Nigeria. And says, this Nigeria, this Nigeria we, we can, can fix it. it. He okay, can fix it. Okay, now, so, so, end of this program, program now. now eh, if Tunubuna eventually, eventually wins, wins now, now. what if it that team now? Wait for life to win. Okay, okay. No, no, I can't just say he go win. You understand? Okay, if he eventually wins now, what if that first turn? Wait for life to first cease for Nigeria now. The first turn I went to first tackle on security. And I know say he go feed one. You understand, you understand me? me? I don't want, I don't to, want talk to talk about uh, tribalism. tribalism. Once, Once you face security, 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 business, business can, can strive in Nigeria. Nigeria. Once, there's, Once no there's no security, security what do you best you do? You can't, you can't do anything. anything. After, After security, security we'll go into go lights. lights. You understand, you understand me? me? The first thing, thing I want to know what to do is to fix security. That is one thing I want you to do. That's security. Because what do you best me and you do for abroad now? Eh? Eh? Security in that country. Because, because if you, you go Nigeria, Nigeria, me go Nigeria. Nigeria. Like, like me now, he get motor why they drive before for Nigeria. Nigeria. But as but I, I go Nigeria, Nigeria. Eh? he get reason why I go hide that motor. I go buy some motor. Everybody they think he happy. You understand me? So the thing don't, he don't pass leadership. He did the security. He did our hand now. We to fight the security by ourselves. So I want Nubu to fix the security. That is what me I want. First. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. So, so what's, what's up, my people? people? On another year, we see our uh, senior brother talk now. now. So, so what, what is your own contribution now to waiting? Our boss, boss now just finished talking, talking, talking now. now. So, so drop your, your comment at the comment section, section and, don't and don't forget, forget to share this video. Thank you. On another Siam, it all read. That is Nigeria for you. That one, he did tell you, he said, Natinubu Nango. But sorry, sorry. We are going next year, 2023. But I just have to bring you the mindset of people on the kind of re the, the way they reason. You don't see person we go repair the country for them. Anyways, let me know what you think about it. I will see you guys on the next update. Don't forget to share this video. Okay, share, give a thumbs up, and drop your comments below. I'll be waiting to see what you have to say about this. Is it a, a good development that? Wike should be go. He will go to jail, Dururi, for all these um, atrocities that he committed against Bia France. The president went when they kill our people, they not even give him now. They shishi him. You get the smell. You want joke with full light. You say they, they, you get sense. You a mumu man, Wike.